Hello, Junkaholics. Today, I'm going to be scrapping this International Electronics Control Panel. I got this free from Twins Auctions because nobody bid on it. And uh, kind of anxious to see what's inside. Just so you can see the cables. Look at how thick that copper's in there. So I am guessing that there's going to be a huge ass transformer in this thing and maybe some other goodies. So let's get at it. Stay tuned for the destruction of the Mega Transformer. I'm going to start off with removing every nut, bolt, and screw on the outside of this case. It's just the most efficient use of time if you do things in a series of events. So now with the case open, I'm just starting to yank some stuff out, um, rip some of these wires out, and uh, so we can get a better look at the case and finally get that front cover off. So look what we have in here, a little control board, some wire, that big, big aluminum heat sink. Uh, with some tin coated copper uh, cables coming off of it um, this triple transformer with really chunky uh, leads coming off of it and then in the back there there's two more smaller transformers um, this big cable definitely worth stripping So I decided to pick up some of these bolts and nuts so out of the driveway so I don't end up being with some flat tires. I like to do it as I go along. If you don't have one of these magnets with the, with the release handle, get one. I think I paid 20 bucks at uh, Princess Auto. They work fantastic and uh, a lot less reach reaching up and down, bending over. It's a real game changer. So Princess Auto, I'm sure Harbor Freight has them as well. It's only got a 20 pound pull, but it's good enough for cleaning up. So now I'm gonna do a variety of tactics to try and pull this thing. Um, the pry bar isn't the answer. I end up poking these uh, these uh, bolts that are protruding through, um, and also using a crowbar as a hammer is not the answer. It's slow, but the hammer was in the garage, and I was too lazy to go get it. I eventually ended up going to get it anyways with a punch, and that's what fixed her. I also thought I should do a little um, trimming of the wires so I wouldn't have that um, hold me back before I dislodge this big transformer. So what I'm doing here is 
just cutting the copper away with my grinder. It's pretty chunky stuff and it's the fastest way to do it. And uh, I was mistaken, I've got three of these smaller transformers plus the big transformer. Look at that nice chunky copper. I brought the bucket along so I could put all the wire in there and sort it out later on. This is a good time. If you're enjoying this video, make sure you like, share, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel. We had to move under the carport since it started to rain. And in the forefront here, we're going to be scrapping out the aluminum heatsink, which is all extruded. Um, there's the number two copper cables and the number two copper lugs that have to come off of here. Here's a small little circuit board. Not much to it. There's a little piece of aluminum. The rest is low grade board at best. So the next thing we'll do is take apart these smaller transformers. And uh, just unbolting the brackets. And these ones went incredibly well. Um, as soon as you unbolted them, the top piece came off and you could just beat the copper coil right out of it. And then all there's left to do is to uh, pull the paper and tape off of it. Then I did this three more times and moved on to the larger transformer. As you can see in the video, um, I got an injury from the scrap gods released a little blood and special thanks to Mrs. Jung for buying new band-aids so what I'm doing here is just cutting those leads that go into the coils get them out of the way I just want to give a shout out to That's Right Recycling used to be Gulf Coast Scrapper. He had to get a new channel. For some reason, he can't get access to his old channel. So uh, make sure you click the link below and go subscribe to his channel. He's a half-decent guy, and he's quite entertaining, especially his shorts. Here, I'm unscrewing the bus bar to all the leads. And now I'm um, cutting the coil, um, just as in my previous video. It's cut the coil, pull it out, and uh, it's a tedious task, but it's well worthwhile. So I'll only be doing the one coil on camera and then the rest offline because you don't need to see me do this for hours. And stay tuned for how much copper I got out of this transformer 
it's well worth the watch. So in this garbage can, this is all the copper from one coil and those three smaller uh, transformers. So here is the total copper recovery. Um, the tote is three pounds and the total weight is 62.60 pounds. Um, Four dollars and five cents a pound comes up to $250.40. That is some nice junk.